Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will go through a few more Tableau Desktop Specialist exam practice questions. So let's start the video. The first question is in tree maps, the size begins with the largest rectangle on the dash and the smallest rectangle on the dash. So if you see options, it's like first option will always be top, okay, right or left. And the second option is given as bottom, left or right. So if you create a tree map, we'll quickly create a tree map. To create a tree map, you just have to select one dimension and one measure. Okay, and then you can use the show me. So let's say if we create out of region and we select sales and we just go to show me and click on tree map. Okay, so you see a nice tree map over here and we'll just display the text also over here for easy reference. So if you see here this 739814 is the highest sales and followed by East 691828 sales and then comes Central and the last one 391722. So yeah, largest one comes at the top left and the lowest one comes at the bottom right okay so top left and bottom right yeah so yeah second one will be the answer so top left bottom right and you can verify it more on uh, tableau help also so if you come here and uh, go to build common chart types on tableau help help.tableau.com you should actually go through all these uh, help material okay it might be possible that question may come from any of these uh, topics build an area chart bar chart box plot bullet graph right highlight table histogram line chart these are very very good uh, study material provided by tableau you should go through each of these and try to practice also yourself which will boost your confidence and uh, be you will be ready for the exam okay so in this way start practicing so yeah coming back to the questions so this is the answer let's move to second question a dash action is a hyperlink that points to a web page file or other web based resource outside of tableau okay so they have given options go to url go to sheet go to hyperlink go to web page now go to sheet obviously it takes you to another sheet within tableau okay and these three seems to be confusing okay but only one of them is right okay now i'll show you again on tableau help if you search this url actions within tableau help then you will see that uh, it is given that a URL action is a hyperlink that points to a web page file or web based resource outside of Tableau. Okay. So you can use URL actions to create an email or link to additional information about your data. Right. So and uh, they have given in detail how you can do this on a worksheet, select worksheet, go to actions from a dashboard. You can select dashboard actions. Right, then you have to click on add action and then select go to URL. So this option go to URL. This is how you can create a URL, right? So here the answer would be go to URL. Right. And uh, go through this help. I'll paste all the links in the description of this video. What I'll suggest is go through these links, study in detail try to understand each each line and try to practice it also because it might be possible that you might get another question from the same topic okay so you should be prepared for that okay now let's go to third question if you use a percent difference quick table calculation what value will be the first data value so for this, what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you. Let's say if I plot uh, order date and uh, sales, okay, sales. 
Now they are talking about quick table calculation. If you use a percent difference, quick table calculation. So if I go here, go to quick table calculation and select this percent difference, right? This is what they are talking. Once you see, uh, once you select that, what you see is that first value is null, right? Now why this happens is because percent difference by default by default if you go here you will see that it's creating relative to previous so when it takes value of 2020 it's comparing with 2019 value when it's taking 2021 value it's comparing with 2020 value that is previous value now when it's comparing 2022 value it's comparing it with 2021 value that is the previous value so first value if you take first value it has no previous value like for 2019 there's no previous value to compare with so since there's no value that is why you will have first value as null in case of default selection so default selection is previous now in case if you change this to let's say last you will notice that now everything is being calculated in relative to last value this is in related to 2022 again this one also and since this value is also relative to last value so it will always throw zero because it's comparing with 2022 only right so this is how you should know like what is being talked about okay since the default is always previous so first value will be null so in this case d will be the option okay let's go to fourth question Broadly speaking, when users connect to Tableau, the data fields in their data set are automatically assigned a dash and a dash. Okay, now to fetch the answer, I'll take you again to Tableau help. Okay, now if you search here dimensions and measures blue and green in Tableau help, then what you will notice is first line very first line data fields are made from the columns in your data source right that is how data fields are made now each field each field means each column each column or each field is automatically assigned a data type and a role so data type is nothing but like integer string date that is a data type and a role role basically can be discrete dimension or continuous measure or continuous dimension or discrete measure so this you can again read what are dimensions and what are measures what are blue versus green fields do read this particular article very thoroughly okay, this is a very nice article and certainly one or two questions might appear from this okay so yeah so type and role is what is the answer Okay, for a dash sort, no matter how the data changes, the values will always stay in the sort order we kept stuff in. Okay, so there's random. Random obviously will not keep the data as it is, right? Hierarchical can change, right? Once you have data refreshed, if anything gets added in the hierarchy or removed, so that will change the sorting method okay now only manual and topological remains okay so if you go here in the sorting you have various sort of sortings like sorting data topic is there over here there's manual selection which is written here right so in this if i show you how the manual uh, sorting works okay so let me take this away and uh, let's get subcategory and uh, let's say sales okay then you can manually sort this right go here so this these are the ways you can sort it like data source order alphabetic order field by any field you want to sort or manual now let's say i put it at the top tables supplies and storage i've kept it at the top okay so this is manual sorting now this previously it was sorted 
uh, ascending order in ascending order but i have sent the last three tables supply storage at the top now this is a manual sort now even if data is refreshed or some new subcategories come this order will stay as it is new categories will appear at the bottom okay so this is how a manual sort works okay so coming back to the question it will be a for a manual sort no matter how the data changes the values will always stay in the order okay so manual is the answer then which of the following are valid objects when creating a dashboard in tableau okay so let me quickly show you dashboard in tableau so we have web page web page is there image is there extension is there text is there but there is no video right so that is not a valid object these are all objects right in the dashboard so answer will be video and if you want you can search create a dashboard on tableau help okay and here you have explanation also add an object from the object section what object you want to add you want to copy objects right this is a very good and detailed help page you should go through okay then next question is dash are a local copy of a subset or entire data set that you can use to share data with others when you need to work offline and improve performance dot tbm files dot twb files dot twbx files dot tde files again i'll take you to tableau help okay so if you search tableau file types and folders Okay. link i'll provide you in the description of this video so don't worry so you can see that there are several types of uh, workbooks okay specific file types workbooks bookmarks package data so depending on these uh, they have classified these types of files .twb .twbm .twbx .tde okay so ours uh, is tde and the reason is they are asking local copy of a subset or entire data set right only they want this thing so extract files are a local copy of a subset or entire data set that you can use to share with others when you need to work offline or improve performance this is what a tde file is and that is the answer over here okay next again this is also related to file type a dash is a single zip file that contains a workbook along with any supporting local file data and background images this format is the best way to package your work for sharing with others who don't have access to the original data okay now this if you would have practiced tableau you would know already that this is nothing but a twbx file a twbx file is a packaged workbook okay a packaged workbook is a single zip file that contains a workbook along with any supporting local file data and background images okay. so this is the answer now uh, what i would suggest is go through all the file types go through how to change the repository location where is it so just go through all these topics okay because you don't know what question can come the next question is is it possible to add both a dashboard and a worksheet at the same time to a story point in tableau okay so for this what we'll do is we'll just quickly uh, create a dashboard out of sheet one okay now this is empty dashboard one so i'll delete this and let me create a story point so this is a story point now let Let's say that I bring in sheet one here. Okay, so I've got the sheet one. Right now, what it says is, is it possible to add both a dashboard and a worksheet at the same time? Okay, same time. Okay, so let me put dashboard over here. So what happens is, you see, it has replaced sheet one with dashboard. Again, if I try to put sheet one, you'll see that sheet one is now ticked. 
where dashboard has been replaced. So at a time you can, uh, you know, bring in only one thing, either sheet or dashboard, not both at the same time. So obviously the answer would be false. You can try yourself also. Okay, just be sure and confident. And uh, in uh, Tableau help also, I would say, just go through how you create a story, how you create a story point, okay. Few things, size of the story, then how you set the story title, right? These all things you can uh, go through, okay. Format a stories, shading title, text objects, right? So go through these points, okay. This might be helpful. Okay, now next question is which of these is not a type of quick filter available in Tableau? Again, I'll go through Tableau help. Okay, now if you go here, filter data from your views, that's what talks about filter data. Okay, Tableau help. And if you go here, filter card modes. Okay. So this is what they are talking about. Okay, which all are. Uh, not a type of quick filter. Okay, not a type of quick filter. So Here if you see It has single value multiple value Okay, this is uh, Actually video mode. So let me quickly come here and show you in Tableau itself Let's say I put uh, filter of category So here if you see single value, multiple values and wildcard match. Uh, multiple values, single value, wildcard match. So rejects match. This is odd one out. So this is the answer. Okay. Now which of the following are valid ways to show mark labels in the visualization? So let's go through them one by one. Click on analysis in the menu bar and choose show mark label. Okay, so here we have uh, analysis menu and here there's an option to show mark labels. Now we already have mark labels displayed over here. That is why you see it as ticked, right? Show mark labels. If I deselect this, marks will go away, right? Again, I can put them back. Okay. So first option is correct. Second option, drag the measure to the text label in the marks card. So let's say I want to show measure sales. So I'll drag it here in the text box. So again, I get it, right? I'll remove it now. So yes, yeah, second is correct. Then click on the show mark labels icon in the toolbar. Okay. In the toolbar, you have uh, this one, right? Hide or show. So yeah, this one also works. Then click on data in the menu bar and choose show mark labels. Now if I click data menu bar, there's only option of new data source, paste, orders, right? There's no option of show mark labels in the data menu. So yeah, so first three are right valid ways to show mark labels in the visualization. Then the view data window displays as much of the data as possible by default up to dash rows. Okay, so I'll go to Tableau help. There's this topic called view underlying data. Okay. And in the very first section here, you see by default, the view data window displays up to 10,000 rows of data in Tableau desktop and up to 200 rows of data in Tableau cloud and Tableau server. Okay. So this is the answer 10,000 rows. Okay. This, since we are talking about Tableau desktop, this is Tableau desktop exam. So it is talking about Tableau desktop. Okay. 10,000 rows. Okay. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you like the video. And I'll paste all the links in the description of this video. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.